In 1925, what we now know as Montgomery Blair High School opens on the corner of Philadelphia and Chicago Avenue, with only 86 students as Tacoma Park Silver Spring High School. That 86 grows to an overflow of 450 in 1934, and so the school moves to a new location on Wayne Avenue over Sligo Creek in 1935, where it is renamed Montgomery Blair High School. We had an auditorium. We. I, Yes, we had an auditorium. Yeah, the auditorium was nice. The cafeteria was was not the nicest place, <laughs> as far as I remember. Small. It's, it's called, you guys call it a sack now. Like, the cafeteria was so small. The gym was separated from the building, you know, in the old place. So it was basically one building by itself. And the, the school was a different area. The building was, it was close to downtown Silver Spring. And so we would uh, sometimes for lunch go down to downtown Silver Spring, which was which was great. 50 years later, in 1985, the STEM magnet program is established. The program was intellectually stimulating and introduced me to lots of great ideas. I really liked the challenge. I loved the like logical problems and learning more about the world. I really got a lot out of the program and the teachers were all just so amazing. I loved the clean, like being able to put a box around the answer at the end. What other super cool, awesome people have gone to Blair? Most notably, there have been Chris T. Sullivan, founder of Outback Steakhouse in 1967, Connie Chung, the first Asian American news anchor on CBS Evening News in 1965, Goldie Hawn, who graduated in 1964, and won an Academy Award and Golden Globe Award. Steve Francis, class of 96 and three-time NBA All-Star. And Ben Stein. He's an actor, writer, lawyer, comedian, and even wrote a few speeches for President Nixon. He's in the class of 1963. Back to the Blair on Wayne Avenue. In 1992, Blair initiates and sponsors the display of the Names Project's AIDS Memorial Quilt, the first high school in the nation to do so. Six years later, in 1998, Blair is full of activity. It moves to its current location adjacent to the Capitol Beltway, and the old building is repurposed as Silver Spring International Middle School and Sligo Elementary School. We had a block schedule. They're very similar to now, though. We called them A Days and B Days. It was basically the same thing, though. There were two lunches. I mean, people would be bumping into each other all the time. Well, we had open lunch, so that helped. That helped. Former President Clinton and UK Prime Minister Tony Blair visit and give speeches. Silver Chips Online is founded by Dan Zeitnik. The population has risen to 2,600 and the CAP program is established, not helping with the overpopulation problem. Throughout the years, a lot of things have changed, but a few things have stayed consistent. Blair is located in a pretty cosmopolitan area, <laughs> and so there are people from all over the world that go to the, the school. I haven't really been in a place with that level of diversity since, since going to high school. It was in the magnet program that I first ran into limitations and got some humility. Jump forward to 2002, SCO separates from Silver Chips and starts publishing its own content. In 2011, NBA legend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar visits to promote his movie and speak to the JV and varsity basketball teams. He's a very good speaker, a uh, very inspirational young guy. And I mean, of course, he's Kareem, he's the leader scorer of all time. I mean, big guy, he's huge. The kids really liked it. They're, they were, they looked at him oh my gosh, Kareem's here. He's very humble, very humble person. You get Kareem up here talking, you're, you're, the, the auditorium is going to be quiet, you know? <laughs> like, kids are like, not a pin drop. They're hanging on every word, it, it's great. In 2019, the infamous High School Nation visits and promotes its sponsors. Silent Toe initially headlines the event, but he's then replaced by actress and singer Carrie Metters. At the beginning of 2020, Blair goes all virtual as COVID takes over the world. Blair's 2020 to 2021 school year is completed all virtual as per the county's decision. Football had games, no fans. Season was short. They only played like five games or something like that. It was good, you know, check kids in, sanitize them every time, everyone, every practice. The indoor sports, they suffered because, of course, they didn't want in indoor stuff. Some of those kids that really needed the, um, that indoor activity, those kids need that. They needed that and they didn't get it, you know. 
and uh, I think that really hurt, hurt them. And finally, Blair opens back up in person for the 2021 to 2022 school year. Blair is a good school uh, and I've always had a positive experience here. 